Hey, what's up, guys? This is Theorem Productions. We're very excited to open box a brand new Redmi Book 16, the R7 version with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 5.2 gigabytes of solid state drive. It houses a very powerful CPU from AMD, eight core, eight threads, which was kind of typical for this year AMD. Now let us just open box and take everything inside out. The box is very easy to open, while the charger is impressively tiny. After opening the bo box, you can see a pretty simple charger, which is very mini, approximately phone charger size or slightly larger than that, 65 watts, and a USB Type-C cable, and a very simple manual. It is in Chinese because we are having the Chinese version. The laptop itself is in space gray. Looks pretty good. Um, it feels very substantial on hand. You can hardly move it with a single hand. On the one hand, there is a USB-A with a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the other side, a Type-C charging, a HDMI, a USB Type-C, and a USB-A. Um, the port is just um, good enough to use, not really a lot. Frankly speaking, Redmi can just add a bit more ports but uh, there's nothing to complain about considering it's very cheap price. The back side is also uh, metallic with a pretty wide um, window for cool air. The overall craftsmanship is pretty good, uh, nothing to complain about for such a price range. Uh, it feels okay, not extremely sturdy on hand, uh, but still on the solid side. Um, things are pretty good, the design is pretty simple, nothing really annoying. So. Um, Considering the price, um, I think it's pretty lovely. Um, if you want to use a single hand to open the laptop, uh, you will find that it is hard to open. The screen is pretty big. Um, it has some kind of nano bezel in three side and very narrow bezel at the bottom with the Redmi Book logo over there. Um, the overall design is just some kind of um, MacBook or Apple follower design. Um, it looks very cheap if you are using macbook but it looks pretty good if you are just a budget buyer um, there is no webcam at the top which is um, nothing good considering the covid19 what we are facing recently but well um, for some people they just want a good big machine for study it's not really an issue and we have uh, set up the machine and now let us power it on the power button is just a rubbish uh, no idea whether we press it or not let us just press again Okay, I think this time I got it. But once you power it on, the speed is pretty fast. The screen is gorgeous, really excellent. Um, it feels slightly better in my impression than the Magic Book sixteen, uh, the Magic Book Pro sixteen version. It looks a bit more contrasty, but probably it may also be my um feeling because the wallpaper looks beautiful. The speed response rate of this laptop is really amazing. Um, although it does not house the best CPU and GPU or RAM, um, but it's comparable to the fastest or most responsive MacBook 14 I've ever tested. So um, I would like to say that the optimization on this laptop is definitely gorgeous. It's much beyond my expectation. Now let's move to London Tube Singer to check out the cinema quality. Our next guest, all she was trying to do was catch a train in the London tube, and now she is one of the hottest videos on the internet. Here's why. Finish the lyrics. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need... Wow. <laughs> you Changed here before I'm shallow from Essex, England. Please welcome Charlotte Aubrey. <laughs>
Well, if you are talking about uh, cin cinema experience, there are basically two sides. The screen, which is really impressive here. Everything is so good, um, especially for this price range. The screen quality is even much better than many 1K US dollars price uh, laptops. Um, the downside is about the sound part. The quality is fine, it's just the volume is too weak. If you turn to the default 66%, it's almost like the background noise. If you turn to 100%, it's almost like the your your MP3 or your um, very cheap uh, 3-inch phone sound loudness. It's um, just way beyond my expectation. 16-inch, so small. It's very bad. It seems as if the lady is shouting to you, but you cannot hear anything. As for the system specs, uh, the central processing unit is pretty good for 700UR7. The battery is also pretty good, approximately 50 watt hours. Considering the uh, discharge rate, you will get something like 6 to 8 hours for very light work, but do expect to get less battery life if you are working with 10 cron times and plus your Microsoft Office uh, light work. So you just open one or two Microsoft Office, which is, well, generally less power consuming. It has about 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4 2666. Uh, on board, you cannot replace or upgrade, but 16 gigabytes of RAM is generally good enough for most users. The GPU is the 448 R7 Vega, uh, which is uh, not too good, not too bad. It's not going to run you smoothly in PUBG, but definitely uh, pretty okay for Dota 2 or those easy games. The display is exactly the same model as the new Magic Book Pre, the Magic Book Pro 16 version. Um, on paper, the specs is really good. It has 300 plus brightness, 1000 contrast, and 100% sRGB color gamut, which is almost approaching the level of MacBook Air. But while still, it's not comparable, only comparable on paper. The solid state drive is a um, Samsung one, but it's a Samsung M2 SATA drive. Uh, it's generally slower than the MME drive, but in our daily usage experience, it, the responsive rate is actually much faster than generally NVMe drives, and well, it's just good enough to use. Uh, the Wi Fi card is from Realtek the 8822CE, uh, which is very similar to many other AMD Ryzen 4000 laptops. It's definitely good enough and usable pretty fast, but if you have multiple devices at home, then this laptop might be the slower side. Some benchmarks, uh, standard benchmarks here there. The memory speed is pretty good, around 30 gigabytes, although theoretically it can reach 40 gigabytes. The latency is pretty okay, below 100 nanoseconds. Uh, for the cache is also pretty standard. The Sandy Bench R15 score are all pretty standard. The GPU OpenGL is around 60 frames per second, which is around the level of MX150. The CPU has around 1K, which is pretty high, and uh, the single core thread 180 plus, which is also pretty high. So uh, the performance of this laptop, even under battery, is pretty, uh, it's considerable. As for the SATA, um, solid state drive. Uh, it's not slow actually. Um, it's even faster than some of the MME drive I have ever tested, which cannot really finish. Um, the BMD raw speed test just shows that wow, wow, although the CPU is pretty strong, 16 frames per second, it's just that the GPU is not optimized. AMD Ryzen 4K still lacks the software support from the BMD raw test. So if you are looking for a laptop to handle a certain level of BMD raw um, editing, then please just go for those with NVIDIA GPUs, um, MX, or even GTX models. Uh, we are moving to the stability test, and now we have aircon at room. Uh, the temperature is pretty low now in idle mode with a very low CPU package power, which is pretty good. Now let us start a stability test. Um, first, it, uh, it is clocked to 2.5 gigahertz, and uh, very strangely, just after 
uh, oh, two seconds time, it now jumps to 3.3 gigahertz. I do not really understand why. It just uh, slow at the beginning and then faster later. Now the CPU package power is just 18 watts, which is pretty low. While 18 watts for 8 cores to run at 3 gigahertz. After 10 minutes of stability test, well, there's nothing changed. This laptop, 16 inches, is definitely powerful or capable of just just um, living 17 or 18 watt for uh, for the CPU. And this Ryzen 4000 is really nicely optimized. It just needs so less power to run at a so good frequency, 3 gigahertz, and the temperature is just below 70 Celsius degree. You cannot even hear any evident noise or fan when you're operating in a pretty quiet and just one person environment. This is, um, wow, a really nice point of this laptop. There's only one thing to complain about is that um, Xiaomi should give a certain amount of time so that the CPU can run to 4 GHz when some users are looking for exceptional short-term performance. Uh, after talking about CPU, we are now we want to talk about the GPU or the gaming test, just some simulations. And uh, if you just open Firmark to test the GPU, you can see that the GPU frequency is now clocked to one point six gigahertz, which is the maximum. Um, the total power is also just around seventeen, eighteen watts. So um, the power is not really substantial. Now let us just add CPU into the test so make them just work together, uh, very similar to a very intensive game. Now the CPU ratio is clocked to 2.2 GHz, and the GPU now can drop to around 6-700 MHz. The total CPU power, CPU plus GPU, is now just 14 Watt, which is pretty low and strange. After 5 minutes, um, we can see that the CPU clock ratio is pretty low, around 1.8, 1.9 GHz, while the GPU frequency is just 500 MHz, which, which is pretty strange. Cannot understand. Um, uh, we can totally not understand that why Redmi just put a 10 watt envelope on the while well, on the on the laptop. It is definitely feels feeling easy to um, dissipate 10 or even 18 watt of power. And I would like to say that even Redmi set it to 25 or even 30, there is no too much issues because it's just with the temperature slightly higher, 70 or 80. So um, the laptop is definitely pretty good enough. There's nothing too much to complain about. Everything is just so good. Um, if Redmi can add a few ports or just um, re-engineer the BIOS a bit and gaming, then it will be even better.